batter up sports card fans flagship friday and what a great flagship friday it is your boy g dubs is going to see r b sensation seal tonight is he r &B? I don't even know he's like easy he's like whatever luther vandross was he is our version of luther vandross and i'm so excited he's from a rose on a gray yep I know, I promised I wouldn't sing ever again, but guess what? I lie. I lie a lot, and that's okay. Because what else I do a lot is open baseball cards. And hopefully, every once in a while, we pull a banger. And that is what we are hoping to pull today. Von Grisham. So let me know in the comments down below. Uh, Tops Chrome Wander, I like that. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite and or most obscure concert ever was. Um, I've got a few obscure concerts. Seeing, um, oh, now I can't even think of their name. Um, we got the commemorative relic in this one. Encarnacion. Cleveland Guardians, Jose Ramirez. Duran Duran is who I was trying to think of. All aces, Corbin Burns. I saw Duran Duran in Boston in the 2000s. And that, it's far too late to be seeing Duran Duran. <laughs> uh, that's an obscure one. My first concert ever was the Beach Boys with John Stamos on the drums. That was pretty sick. Uh, Patrick Wisdom, JJ Boudet, there we go. Some decent little... Tier three, tier four prospects here. Oscar and Gonzalez. We do get Ozzy Albies. Rainbow foil. That's a very rainbowy, a rainbowy foil. Extra rainbow. Um, so that was an obscure concert for sure. But let me know what your most obscure concert is. Oh, I've also seen Rick Astley. Like, before he was, like, insanely um, uh, pop culture-y. It was definitely after the Rick Roll, so that's that's for sure. I can't take can't take credit for, uh, for any Rick Rolling. Um, but it was about 10 years ago at this point, so it's... I'm, a, I'm an OG Rick Astley fan, for sure. Bo Bichette, he's a banger. I love it. J-Rod on the cover, and now everyone is spoiled on him. They're saying he's washed up. He's a, he's a bust of a prospect. Love it. Kelnick was a bust. J-Rod's a bust. Eventually, it's going to become obvious you should stop listening to sports card investors. I'm not saying don't listen to the channel Sports Card Investors, because I actually think that some of their content is actually very good. A lot of people feel strongly one way or the other about Jeff, and that's fine. I think he's great because he spells his name right with a G. Um, but I'm going to put Libertor down there. Uh, Teapot has a lot of really good content on that channel, but... Stop listening to anyone who tells you, any person that goes, including myself, any person that says, this is a person to invest in, I highly recommend it, I would do it, blah, 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 blah. They're probably selling this card. That's why they're saying that. So just be careful because I try to at least, anytime I give advice, quote unquote, on this channel, I always try to tell you it's what I'm doing. I don't recommend that you do it. I'm just letting you know that I do it. Because all those influencers are out there like, oh, yeah, you got to get on the Brock Purdy train. Get on the Brock Purdy train. And uh, no, you should not get on the Brock Purdy train. Or if you do, all the power to you if he actually becomes the next best thing. But if you think he's going to become Tom Brady, spoiler alert, he is not. Okay, well, that's going to do it for the rip here today. We didn't get any of the big prospects. So that's going to slide over. That's going to slide over. 
Wander Chrome's gonna go up there. The pile will go there. Freddie Freeman goes there. And that is going to do it for us today. Not the best blaster, but that's okay. You know why? Because we had a great time together and that's all that matters. I will cherish this five minutes that we spent together on this Friday and I will wish you the happiest of happy Fridays. As long as you click subscribe, like this video, click the little bell icon so you stay notified every time we post a daily video, even though sometimes it's not daily, but we will get back to that. Don't worry about that. Um, and then head on over to Instagram and Twitter at GDubs Collects, and then click the link in the video description below and get a free $10 to spend on whatnot. Thank you so much for joining me today. You have yourself a great weekend. Keep the hobby alive. Keep on collecting. Thank you.